Greetings from Spain. We are excited to present our work regarding the effect of Escherichia coli infection on lower urinary tract function in male patients during the first ever ICS online meeting. The presenter has no affiliations to disclose regarding this presentation. In vitro studies suggest that infection by E. coli can affect the lower urinary tract function because of the effect of its endotoxin on alpha adrenergic receptors. If this finding would be confirmed in vivo, it would explain that some voiding dysfunctions usually associated to non-bacterial prostatitis may result from bacterial infections. Our hypothesis is that E. coli infection can affect voiding function in male patients. The objective of the present study is to compare the urodynamic findings in a sample of men with positive urine cultures for E. coli or other bacteria. We developed a cross-sectional study differentiating 27 men with a positive urine culture for E. coli growth, and 19 men with a positive urine culture showed the growth of bacteria other than E. coli. Patients under 18 years, with neurogenic bladder, antibiotic treatment, anatomical abnormalities of the urinary tract, urolithiasis and genitourinary neoplasms were excluded. Urethral resistance was measured by the urethral resistance algorithm. Detrusor contractility was measured by maximum value of Watts factor and by the difference between the value of Watts factor at 80% of bladder capacity minus the value of Watts factor at 20% of bladder capacity. Clinical variables studied were age, use of an indwelling catheter, presence of storage and or voiding lower urinary tract symptoms or the presence of symptomatic stress urinary incontinence. None of them showed significant differences between groups. Regarding the urodynamic variables, there were no significant differences in the post-void residual urine, maximum flow rate or systemetric bladder capacity. The urethral resistance was significantly higher in the E. coli negative group and the maximum value of watt factor and the difference between watt factor at 80% and 20% of bladder capacity were both significantly higher in the E. coli positive group. As we have said before, the endotoxins liberated from E. coli inhibit alpha adrenergic receptors in the urethral muscle. This effect may explain why urethral resistance was lower in patients with E. coli infection in our study. However, the action of E. coli in the detrusor is more controversial. Some authors state that there is no effect on this muscle. On the other hand, some studies claim that E. coli releases ATP that enhances bladder contractility. A recent in vitro study suggests that the urinary microbiota regulates the ATP levels. The stimulation of uroepithelial cell with ATP induces the release of more ATP into the surrounding environment stimulating the contraction of myofibroblasts. This effect can be inhibited with the addition of lactobacillus crispatus and gasseri. However, no clinical study has confirmed this results. Our data did not find any relationship between E. coli infection and the presence of lower urinary tract symptoms or detrusor overactivity. However, this mechanism could explain the higher contractility parameters found in our study in patients with E. coli infection. Somehow we could say that E. coli infection in the lower urinary tract is positive since it reduces urethral resistance and improves bladder contractility compared to other bacteria. Some authors have advocated the deliberate colonization of human urinary tract with a virulent strains of E. coli in case of recurrent UTI. Although the design of our study does not allow us to establish a cause-effect relationship, if other studies prove this effect, that procedure would be therapeutically useful. In conclusion, male patients with E. coli infection have less urethral resistance and more bladder contractility than male patients infected by other bacteria. The consequences of these findings could be clinically interesting. Thank you very much for your attention.